oh my gosh, I did the whole video and I didn't record it. So I'm doing this again. Um, okay, so I've been watching Real Housewives of New Jersey since the beginning. And so I decided to do start doing reviews on Real Housewives of New Jersey because nobody else is that I watch. So I was like, well, let's just talk about it. So Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13, episode one. I can kind of go through this. Honestly, the episode didn't give much. And Danielle is the very first, is a new housewife. Um, she's, she's, um, I'm trying not to get annoyed by her because she's really trying hard, which is fine. I get it. You're trying hard to catch attention. She's uh, talking about how great her husband looks and how great her kids are and how great her life is and the, a Staten Island girl, a Jersey girl. Okay. And then her daughter proceeds to give the finger. And I was like, oh, so this is what little girls do. Gotcha. Mm. My child would not. <laughs> okay. Then we have the still the existing conflict between Jennifer and Dolores. I like Dolores. I like the fact how Dolores is like, we still on this? See, last season, Dolores and Jennifer got into it. And I think that Dolores was rightfully so how Dolores got into it with Jennifer. Dolores, um, and, and, and honestly, when I saw this conflict between Jennifer and Dolores and Jennifer's like, we, you know, you're not going to acknowledge what you've done. And I was just like, girl, didn't y'all have like many other interactions after that particular one incident? We're still on this. Like, I thought we've moved past this too. Like, I sincerely could not think that y'all were not still talking about that last altercation. But it appears that y'all were still talking about that last altercation that happened earlier last season and not like recent. Y'all been doing stuff. So Dolores is having another fundraiser where she's trying to get all the, the guys to take pictures and sexy poses and stuff like that. I don't I, I thought it was a calendar. I could be wrong, um, but it's whatever to showcase the guys. I wasn't feeling it and I would not have had my husband do it, but to each his own. Um, I... Jennifer is not someone that I've really liked over the years. She's a little annoying and she's a liar, but um, she does at least have a story. And I think that one can appreciate that. Teresa is the starts this episode and she's at the wedding and and it's almost like a rewind to see how we get to the invite. Jennifer is clearly at the wedding. You know, she she does get invited to the wedding. Melissa is on this whole, um, I should be in the wedding. She's like, oh, I don't really care if I'm in the wedding. Oh, you've, you've made it quite clear <laughs> that you care. And your husband is not speaking to Teresa because... Not just because she called him a, an inappropriate word, but also because um, she, because his wife is not in the wedding. But let me, Teresa blames Melissa a lot for her brother's behavior. And I'm, I don't like that because um, he's going to side with his wife and to make a man or to make somebody choose between their husband and their spouse, um, and the family is stupid. So I don't like this at all. I don't like what Teresa's dealing with at all or what Teresa's angle is 
But I also want to make something perfectly clear about how I feel about her. I, I've liked Teresa for sure. I don't think that it's Melissa that's the problem. But I do think that Teresa, I firmly believe that Teresa, Teresa's excuse for not wanting Melissa to be on the show is stupid. Saying that it was going to ruin the family. Girl, you don't like Melissa. So to say that you did like Melissa at one point is incorrect. So I do think that her being on the show is one of the primary reasons as to why them two can't get along. Um, I do acknowledge that Melissa has, in her definition of making an attempt to be good between the two, um, I do think that she does put some effort, but I don't necessarily... I think that to, the problem that I have with Melissa is that she is completely not honest. Um, and uh, Teresa is also... Teresa is not honest, but until you corner her and then she'll admit to stuff. So whereas Melissa is just an outright liar. The thing that I have a problem with though is this Melissa scenario but here's the thing Melissa and Teresa will never get together for sure and the person who will never get them together is Margaret Margaret ma'am I don't like Margaret I've never liked Margaret I think that Margaret is all up in everybody's business and when she tries to tell her own business it's kind of like you 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 know you expect people to not judge you. It's hard to not, I mean, we, let's be honest, we judge women who cheat more harshly than we judge men who cheat. For whatever reason, we just do. And I also look at the way that you treat your husband. I don't like how you treat your husband. And realizing that Teresa was getting married to somebody that, yeah, We've all had we all have our hesitations. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a fan of her husband in the sense that I don't like how he talks to her. He talks to her in public like, oh, just let her talk. Oh, be quiet. Oh, and and, and that's not something I think that the way that he says stuff like that to her in public is appropriate. Cause if you're gonna say that in public, I'm guarantee you're saying some stuff in private that are that's not cool and so margaret though always puts her nose in people's business when people are getting married i'm gonna let you know right now they don't want to hear what you have to say about their other significant other so if things don't work out they don't work out and let's be real Teresa went to jail her last husband helped send her to literally sent her to jail his actions caused her to be away from her kids in prison for years you know right so look I don't do jail and she did more than one day and to me that is a I can't come back from my husband sending doing actions that led me to go to jail for more than an 2.2 seconds <laughs> so therefore this guy is going to be better than her last husband who had sent her to help send her to jail. And I say that respectfully because he may be a good dad to his kids, right? And all of the stuff that Joe Gorga has said about him may be from a place of you sent my daughter, my wife, my sister to jail. However, his kids are going to love their father and don't want to hear the stuff that you're saying about their dad. And that I can respect. And Joe last season needed to respect and understand that. However, my dislike for Teresa's husband, last husband, is still relevant because you sent me to jail. Right? So two things can be true. 
But Margaret, you going to talk to Teresa and then you're going to turn around and tell Melissa and Joe everything they she said. And, it, and I already know that Margaret's going to be like, well, I'm just trying to get them together and trying to play peacemaker. No, nobody wanted you to be peacemaker. I'm telling you now, nobody said, Margaret, please become the peacemaker. Please create unity. Nobody asked you. And honestly, if that was your way of committing, creating peace amongst them, save it. Because all you did was create even more attention, more dissension. And this is, I mean, Margaret's good for the show because she creates drama and, and, and tension, but she's not a good girl. She's not a good woman at all. And I know that Teresa has to keep this show going by, you know, mending fences with people. And she probably is like, who's the lesser of evils? I ain't talking to Melissa. <laughs> so, and then she's absolutely, what's so fascinating about Teresa is that she's like, I don't understand what they bought, what they upset about, which is legit. No, actually it's not legit. Um, of course, you know why they're mad, okay? but it's her wedding. She can invite whoever she wants to. And Melissa says that, but she doesn't mean that. So, I mean, she doesn't mean it because her actions show that. Mm. Whatever. So I'm hoping, I'm going to make a commitment to do a review on this show once a week. But I really want this show to pick up because this was a, lackluster start and on that note have a great rest of your week and i know i'm coming with another video on you people and i think that's it bye